Part 5, Dialogue 1 Listen to a conversation between two friends, Amiral and Quraysha on the effects of global warming. As you listen, choose the correct answers for questions 25 and 26. You now have 15 seconds to look at the questions. Now listen carefully and indicate your answers on the answer sheet. Hi, how are you? You look angry and sad. Well, I am angry with the failure of the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen, Denmark. It started with high expectations, but the Climate Change Summit had a disappointing ending. I must agree with you. However, I am glad that our country made a commitment to reduce carbon emissions by 40%. That shows that we are doing something to help reverse the trend of our gradually warming planet. Yes, you are right on that. At the end of the day, we should take individual responsibility for our actions and not leave it to the state to deal with the issues of global warming. Unfortunately, a large section of the Malaysian public is ignorant about the effects of climate change on our health. Global warming will cause gradual decline in freshwater and arable land, which in turn becomes causes of insufficient potable water and crops failure among third world countries. This will cause malnutrition and will also lead to an increase in the levels of poverty, as there won't be enough food to go around. Not only that, the change in the world temperature will bring about changes to the world ecosystem's plants and insect vectors like mosquitoes and flies as they will change the spread of infectious diseases in terms of range and seasonality of outbreaks. Yes, that explains why lately we have been experiencing frequent outbreaks of infectious diseases like SARS, bird flu and H1N1. That is scary. We will also be more directly affected by floods and famine as the direct result of the rise in world temperature. I believe that we must play our part to help the government reduce carbon emission and also combat global warming. People should use buses as the main mode of transport in towns and cities. Only then can everyone play their part in reducing global warming. I agree with you. A little sacrifice from the people will go a long way to make this earth a better place to live in, especially for the future generation. Well, I've got to go now. Talk to you later. Email me should you have further details on global warming. I would love to discuss more about it with you. Bye. Bye. See you later. That is the end of Dialogue 1. Now look at Dialogue 2.